We're going to see a profound thing this morning, and a key of which you could never find without the original language, and which many believers don't put this together. It's going to be a very important, cool thing that comes from the first, the first line of the Bible. Birashit bara Elohim et hashamayim va'et ha'aretz. Birashit in the beginning, bara created, Elohim God, et hashamayim heaven, but et ha'aretz, the earth. In the language which most of the Bible is written, Hebrew, the word for earth is aretz. Try it. Aretz. Aretz. The word for heaven is shamayim. Try it. Shamayim. There are two realms. Aretz. Aretz. Earth. Shamayim. Heaven. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now notice the two words are different sounding. Aretz. Shemaim. Okay, so two things here. Why? Aretz is a singular word. It denotes something singular. Even though the world, the earth is big, it's singular. It's finite. You can measure it. It has parameters, beginnings, ending. It has, it, it, the earth is finite and the things in it are finite. Not only with space, they have limits. You have a body. It has a certain height, a certain weight, all that. Well, it, it, not only that, but your time, earthly time is limited, is finite. You have a measurement. Our earthly time, our time on earth is limited. We've got a limited time in this planet. It's finite. So it's finite in space, finite in time. No matter how long we live, no matter how much we have, it's all finite. It's aretz. Aretz is singular, finite. But the word for heaven, shamayim, ends with that im. Everybody say im. What's im? Im is telling you it's not finite. There's more to it. It's like putting an S on the end of a word. Im, cherubim, seraphim. There's more to it. So it, here it is not talking about, it's talking about, here it says heaven. It's shamayim. There's more to it. It's plural. And in the case of heaven, it's infinite. Earth is limited. Heaven is unlimited. The world, you can measure it. You cannot measure heaven. There's no begin, no end. You can't. So with space, with time, earthly life is limited, but heavenly life, Shemayim, has no limit. goes on forever. That's why heaven, we, when we say heaven, we're not just thinking about a place, we're thinking about a time forever. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.